Okay, we're going to talk about our cylinder head now. Um, I went down to the local parts house and they rent tools, so I rented this puller. You have to give a $20 deposit, then um, when you get done with it, you can give it back to them, but essentially you put it on your spring <clears throat> and you squeeze it down and you can take the little keepers out and the little keepers are around the valve and then you can take your valve out. <clears throat> your, um, when you lay them all out you want to you wanna lay out cylinder number one, exhaust, intake, cylinder number two, intake, exhaust. Uh, always the exhaust valves are going to be smaller and always the intake valves are going to be bigger. Okay, I looked at my valves and they need to be lapped. So, if not ground, they're not really smooth like they should be, like a nice, nice... This this one's not too bad. Your intake valve, it's not... I can see a nice ring around that's not too bad. The exhaust is pretty bad. Um, also, I uh, took the valves out and there's a lot of carbon buildup that I'm going to clean out. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a call to a machine shop. And the reason being is that I found something and it needs to be fixed. Uh, let's look at this side first. I'm looking at the surface of this. There's no apparent cracks. Um, Everything looks to be okay. The valve seats do not look seem to be cracked. They look all right. Of course, this engine ran, so uh, it wasn't so bad. It is fouled up quite a bit with carbon, uh, but I think that's because we had an oil problem. Probably had an oil problem, but also we also had a problem with uh, with uh, there's a lot of carbon in the intake that I cleaned out originally when I fixed my intake when I first th first took this thing apart I had brazed my intake because I had a crack in it and I cleaned out a lot of coke and a lot of it uh, intake and exhaust both and um, essentially what I think what they did on this tractor is they tried to run it on kerosene or fuel oil or something like that and it wasn't hot enough they might they might have ran it like that but it wasn't hot enough the tractor the tractor didn't have shutters on the front of the radiator um, therefore you couldn't shut the airflow off to the radiator to get it hot enough to run kerosene they may have done that, and that's what might have coked it up really bad, instead of just running gasoline. Who knows? Um, here's what I found. This valve seat, not valve seat, but valve guide, if you look at it, it's cracked. So I'm going to have to have this one pressed out and a new one pressed in. I'll uh, get an estimate on how much it costs to have them all done. But, realistically, I might just do one. I don't know. It depends on what they, what they re you know, what they recommend is going to be, oh, you need them all replaced, and you need it re redecked, and you need it boiled, and you need it this, and you need it that, and you need it, and pretty soon you have $400 in your cylinder head. So, you know, it depends on how much money you want to put into this. Like I said, it's, it could be a money pit. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go make some calls, Let's see how much it is to replace this valve guide, and then possibly have my valves relapped or ground, and um, take it down there and have them fix it. So this is going to put us about a week behind as far as putting it together, but we got to do some other things too uh, while we wait for the machine shop.